you know, cremation is wrong and that you um, have to be buried. Ask the pastor. What does the Bible say about cremation? Um, I don't know if the Bible really says anything about uh, cremation. I don't think that it's a sin. When I think about cremation, um, you know, there are people that have died in wars and in battle, and there is no body left to bury. So, you know, the the um, old adage that, you know, cremation is wrong and that you um, have to be buried um, as a whole person. Um, I don't think that there's anything in the Bible that says that, you know, when the Bible does say that, that when we are absent in the body, we are present Very with the good. Lord. Amen. So I don't think it really makes makes any difference what happens to our bodies um, because we are in the presence of the Lord as soon as we die. Pastor Nick, what does the Bible say about cremation? Carla is sending that question in. Yeah. Uh, so I suppose I could read this scripture real quick. This is one of a few. Um, it uh, says in the second part of Genesis 319, for dust thou art, and then a dust thou shalt return. Mm. I burn wood to heat my home in the winter uh, that's one way of turning that log into dust, and some of the elements go up the chimney. Wow. Uh, also, if you uh, leave it rot in the woods, it's still going to turn into dirt. One way or another, it's going to turn back to dirt. Uh, one way or another, our physical body uh, is going to turn to dirt, whether you burn it or put it in the ground. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> the emphasis being on what happens to the body is the least important. Uh, is your spirit born again? Mm. And are you allowing God, are you partnering with God to in the salvation of your soul? These are the two most critical parts. Those are the ones that are going to last forever. Pastor Owens, my mind goes back to Terminator when those pieces start coming together. When we come up for the rapture, right? The Bible said in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we're going to be caught up to meet him. And, and our bodies are going to be changed from what? Yeah, and, and Mortal moment, to immortality, immortality yes. right? Help me understand that. That's for you, all you sci-fi fans out there. <laughs> Pastor Owens, help me understand that a bit more. Uh, what does it talk about? What is it about creation? What does the Bible say about creation? Yeah, so absolutely. So we are uh, made from dust, our bodies, yes, right? Yes. When God created uh, humanity. Um, and we will return to dust, as, as the pastor just mentioned here. Uh, but I think it's also important to realize that it's not so much about uh, what happens to our body after we die. We do know uh, once uh, Jesus comes back uh, for his church that the, 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 the rapture, right, oh, yes. we'll be caught up, caught up. Uh, to, to meet him in the air, and our bodies will come back together no matter where your body is. It will come back together, right, and it will change from a mortal body to an immortal body, right? That's it good. will be an everlasting, glorious body. Uh, I just know for me, uh, I told my wife, don't burn me, right? Uh, <laughs> listen, put me in the ground, right? Um, but who knows what happened after I'm, I'm dead, you know, so... <laughs> she says, I know what you said, but uh, <laughs> Pastor Galini, can you give us your take on that? Well, what does the Bible say about creation? My mind creation. went blank when he said to his wife, don't burn me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Exodus thirty-three twenty, it says, uh, but he said, you cannot see my face and no one may see me and live. And I really sincerely believe that the, the Shekinah glory of God, the presence of God, his majesty, his power, his who God is, our flesh, this, this, this temporal body, it cannot contain the glory of God. It would be overwhelmed. I believe it would be burst just like if we went into the burning sun, it would just disintegrate. But what would remain is our mind, our spirit, our soul. It's uh, designed for eternity. So we can't get caught up in and harshly judge people on what the family does to the funeral. God is going to look at our decisions that we made, where our faith was at. Um, he's not going to look at what other people to, do to our body after we're gone. Or like Pastor Nancy said, you know, there's people that get exploded in wars and it was out of their control. So if you lived a nice life uh, living according to God's will and then because someone did something to your body, God's going to reject you. It's not in the Bible. Sister Owens, just as a uh, point of reference, uh, we have it live recorded that Pastor uh, Owens said he does not want to be burned. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Turner, could you share with us uh, your take um, on it? They asked if this is in the Bible. It is in, the, it is in there. It's found in 2 Corinthians, the 23rd chapter. Um, and um, it says, as Josiah 
turned himself, he spied this sepulcher and that were in the mount and sent and took the bones out of the sepulchers and burned them up on the altar mm -hmm. and polluted it according to the word of God, which the man of God claimed who claimed these words. So it is in the Bible. I, so the answer to your question is yes, but they've answered the other part of the creation. But yes, it is found in scripture. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. To see more like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We'd love to pray alongside you for God's blessings in your life. So you can email your prayer requests to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.